Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and today I'm gonna to give you all a quick tutorial on OBS NDI. For those who do not know, NDI is kind of like an alternative to a two PC setup, but here at the Toasty Bros, we have a very uh, specific use case for it. Since we have this nice office with all these great people here, look at them hanging out, he's got pants on in case it gets cold or something, I guess, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. uh, but anyways, uh, with NDI, we have this uh, streaming setup going on here. So as you can see right here, here's me, hi, I'm here at my desk but what we like to do on our PC build streams is go to our other room which is our film room so with OBS NDI you basically can connect to another PC and get a OBS signal from that PC via the network so all you have to do is install OBS NDI on your main PC and your other PC which if you want links in the description down below it's super simple make sure you have OBS installed first but after that just install the plugin simple installation and from there you'll be able to add an NDI source which is basically a well signal signal to that other OBS instance on the other computer. So we have a film room right here in a stream room. Right now we only have the film room up and running, but if you see this right here, you click on film room, look at that. You see that image in there? That is our film room. Now, I'm gonna have one of the guys run in there real quick just to show you how this works, just to show you I'm not like pranking you or anything. This is actually a live footage feed from the film room and it's over the network. So there's Jackson, you see him in there, he's waving. We have audio coming through here. We can swap between this microphone and the film room microphone, which is connected to our DSLR in there. And we can shoot video in there and then come back right quickly and boom, we're back here into this room and we can do game stream. So that's simply how we do our NDI setup. It's not super advanced by any means, but it's a way for us to add multiple rooms to the stream and it really adds a lot of different stuff to the stream so we can make it way more interesting. So if you guys want a full tutorial on OBS NDI, let me know in the comment section down below, but simply just follow the links in the description down below. There are links to download the plugin. Have two instances of OBS installed, one on your main PC and one on the second PC you want to use, and you should be up and running without any problems. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment down below if you have any questions about OBS NDI. I will do my best to try to help you out and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one.